Create structure for your day. Now, for many, many of you, you will know that I bang on, I even watched it again last night, about a YouTube channel of a Navy Admiral talking about making your bed. If you want to change the world, start off by making your bed. If, you, if you're new to this and you haven't seen that clip, please go and Google it. It's about three minutes long, four minutes tops, and just Google make your bed and you will find it. Okay, Navy Admiral, make your bed. And what it basically is, is if you want to achieve something, you've got to have a routine. You've got to start off with a task completed, continue to have those tasks, and put it into a routine. Now, I've talked about that quite a lot, so I'll give you another example here. As you will notice, there is a, what you might see as like a fighting bout uh, in this picture, okay? The reason why I've put a fighting bout in this picture um, is because many years ago I was part of some research and that research took us to at the time the world champion kickboxer okay that is a as far as I can work out because excuse me because I'm not into that sport as far as I can work out um, that is a kickboxing uh, champion's belt, okay? I'm sure there are others and different, you know, sectors and so on and so on and so on. Um, the reason I tell you this story is because the research we were doing in was, was about how successful people become successful. And when we talked about, uh, talked to the world champion kickboxer, um, he says um, he has about 30, 30 wins every day. Okay, and we said, what do you mean by wins? And he says, well, I get up in the morning and every half an hour I have a win. So I go, right, in the next half an hour, I'm gonna have my breakfast and have a shower. Uh, and then when I've done that, I go, that's a win. And that was his phraseology, that's a win. Okay, and then in the next half an hour, I'll, uh, you know, I'll, uh, you know, get dressed and, you know, um, get ready for training. That's a win. Next half an hour, I'll be at the gym and I'll do X, Y, and Z. That's a win. Next half an hour, and he did this religiously every half an hour throughout the day. And he said, I normally do it two days before a fight. I do it two days before a fight. Um, and um, and we were like, well, why, you know, okay, why do you do that? And he said, well. If I've done this, and I have 30 wins a day, and I've done it two days before the fight, then I just need to know, when I get into that ring, in the next half an hour, I need another win. And that's my mentality. I've had 30 wins every half an hour, one every half an hour, for the last two days, and I'm gonna get in the ring now, and I just need another win now. Yeah, and that was his mentality. And the reason I've shared that with you is because creating that structure not only helps you with the isolation impact, because when we're isolated, our brain starts to do loads of what if scenarios. And again, hopefully, if you joined us on the session this morning about emotional overwhelm, we talked about well, quite a lot about what if scenarios. Um, but if you have a winning mindset every 30 minutes, it's amazing what you can win. And that's how the world champion kickboxer actually did that. So double whammy for you on this number one. Having a routine and having little wins each day if you're not connecting with other people and speaking to anybody um, can make you feel quite good, okay? It won't replace connectivity. It will just help you when, it's, when the connectivity's been low. But actually, if you do that on a regular basis and you do have a routine and you tick everything off and you do have little wins, it actually gives you a winning mindset as well at the same time. Just like I've always said, if you got up this morning and went, oh, wah, I'm knackered, I'm gonna be tired all day, then guess what, you're gonna be tired all day. If you woke up this morning and went, do you know what, I've got a couple of good sessions online today, it's gonna be good, I've got these things I'm gonna get done by that, I'm gonna tick that off. If you have that mindset, then obviously you're gonna you're gonna probably approach it in a slightly different way. But I wanted to share with you not just the make your bed, which is quite a good one. So Google it, please, if you haven't already. But just my interaction, um, probably about 10 years ago, 12, eight years ago, something like that, when we uh, when we met this uh, world champion kickboxer. That that's how we dealt with stuff. And a lot of the stuff, bear in mind, a lot he he was impacted by isolation quite a lot. 
because there's a lot of training as an, as an athlete like that that you do on your own. You're away from friends. In fact, they isolate you from friends and family. Uh, I don't know if anybody saw the documentaries on uh, Tyson Fury, um, but when they go to camp, wife's left at home, kids left at home, he's isolated, yeah? Uh, I saw Tyson Fury running along Morecambe Bay, actually, um, uh, last year, uh, pre-lockdown. Um, and a uh, really nice chap as well, said hello to me and everything.